Hi, this is Alan Ogden from Glutathione Authority, and I'm coming to you from my beautiful sunny office in downtown Vancouver, where, well, you can see that the sun is out and it's a great day. Today I want to answer a question that I am very often asked, and also reply to a comment that people often make to me about the manufacture of glutathione in their body. And the product I'm talking about is N-acetylcysteine, or NAC. It's very common. And I often get the comment that, well, I'm taking NAC, it's a natural product, so I'm making my glutathione using NAC. Or the question I get asked is, is NAC a natural product? So just to give you a little history on NAC, NAC is a drug, it is not a natural product, you will not find it existing in a fruit or a vegetable or any natural state, it has to be manufactured. It has to be manufactured at a chemical factory, as a matter of fact, through a very complicated method, whereby the cysteine, the amino acid cysteine, is extracted either from chicken feathers or human hair. Those are the most likely sources. And then the drug molecule, the acetyl molecule, is attached to the cysteine. And it, the reason that that was done was to provide cysteine and a, as a drug for emergency room use in drug overdoses. So when people would take a drug, drug overdose and their liver was challenged with detoxification, they would up the cysteine on a temporary basis to manufacture glutathione to cleanse the liver. So it was actually a life-saving type of drug. In the late 1980s, anacetylcysteine was deregulated in Canada and the United States and put on another classification of drugs called over-the-counter drugs where it still is today. So it's still classified as an over-the-counter drug. It is not a natural dietary supplement. Once again, you cannot find it in nature. It has to be manufactured. So if somebody tells you they're taking a natural product called NAC, that's not true. They're taking a drug called NAC. Now, does it work? Yes, it does. It works on a temporary basis. But just to understand, glutathione is actually made of three amino acids. Cysteine being the limiting one that we don't get enough of actually in our body for our body physiologically to make glutathione. The other amino acids, glutamine and glycine, generally speaking, we get quite a bit from our diet. However, so the theory was that if we just threw cysteine in there, wow, boom, we could get glutathione. However, what happens when you supply one amino acid out of proportion to the other amino acids your body goes into a confused state. So that pathway by which glutathione is made becomes confused. It's called vestibiology. And that means that the pathway is not running as smoothly as it should. So you have this pathway. Think of it as a paved road by which you merge things, they come together, and it flows, and you get glutathione. Now all of a sudden, you have an overflow from one lane. And you know that on traffic, that causes a backup. Or, you know, if you get overabundance in one lane, you've got the traffic backs up. And that's exactly kind of what happens physiologically in our body. That pathway by which we make glutathione in our liver and in our cells becomes confused. And while it's still making glutathione, long term, that pathway remains confused. And so it's just not the best way to actually manufacture glutathione. So what is the best way to manufacture glutathione? Take the amino acids in a preparation that provides the exact proportion of the amino acids at the same time, so your body is, will use the genetic program pathway to make glutathione, or to take a clinically proven glutathione product. So NAC, it is not natural. It is made from human hair and chicken feathers in a very complicated chemical process. It's inexpensive. When you open it, you can tell it smells like sulfur. So it, it smells like a chemical compound. And long term, it just confuses your glutathione pathway. This is Alan Ogden from Glutathione Authority. Have an amazing day.